Welcome back, everybody, to the Madden 24 Los Angeles Rams Franchise Rebuild. We are still here in year number 11, the 2033 NFL season, and today we have to face the six-seed Philadelphia Eagles after they took down the three-seed Cowboys in the wild card round. We enter at 12 and 5 with the number one seed in the NFC, while the Eagles come in at 10 and 7, bolstering a mid-tier offense and defense. Pretty much every number for them is lower than us except for their offensive rushing yards per game, but they're still pretty neck and neck with that category. We have the best offense, the number six defense, and the best rush defense in the entire league based on yardage. We got to face Jalen Hurts today, who has only thrown two interceptions all season long, but this might be his last year here in Philadelphia because they drafted a rookie quarterback, Thaddeus Hudson, and he does have the QB of the future tag, and Hurts is 35 years old, so expect him to probably retire after this season is up and over. They got a pretty balanced approach on the ground with three different running backs over 70 overall, but I wouldn't expect a whole lot of running from their running backs. I would expect a lot of option runs with Jalen Hurts, though. And their receiving core, it's not very good. They don't really have a true number one receiver on this team. And their top guy is Zach Langham, who really lacks a lot of speed. In fact, a lot of these guys do lack some speed. There's not a whole lot of pop on this offense. So it's going to be probably their defense that might get them this win. They're going to miss their left guard in this game. But they have a good interior with Dalton Stewart and Jerry Mills in the middle and right side of this offensive line. And they're very deep in terms of tackle. So we'll see if any of those guys can step up here in this game. But on defense, I would expect their pass rush to be pretty effective here in this game, despite our offensive line being fully healthy. They got three really good defensive tackles and a couple of really solid edge rushers, including guys like Deontay Buckhalter. And they've got Andrew Hughes over the middle, alongside James Whitaker, to really bolster the second level of this defense. In terms of corners, they've got a number one corner here in Cartwright, but his speed is kind of lacking, so hopefully guys like David Jackson and Blackshear even can kind of blow by them whenever they're matched up on the field. But the secondary is definitely not bad. It's probably the best part of this entire team. They expect their defense to make things difficult for the offense. And for the first time all season long, the LA Rams are fully healthy entering a football game. No injuries for us. One for Philadelphia. We get our X-Factor running back Antonio Blackshear back today. We also get David Jackson back, our number one wideouts. Here we go in SoFi, our first playoff game of the season as the number one seed. Let's take these guys down and move on to our second straight NFC Championship game. Or really, that would be our fourth straight NFC Championship game. Let's make it happen. And Philadelphia will start with the football. Down below, the Raiders took down the Chiefs in the divisional round over in the AFC 31-23. Only a 16-yard return by the Eagles. And here we go. Our first look at this defense facing an offense that we haven't really faced too many times the past couple of seasons. But we are coming off a loss back at a week 18 at a bye week after a seven-game win streak. We got to get back in the win column and kick start a new win streak here in this playoff run. Here we go from the Eagles 16-yard line pressure immediately in best night with a nine-yard sack to open the game. Cannot ask for a better first play than that. Hurts under pressure has to dump it off and Levy misses the tackle. And that's going to cost us. 14-yard game when it should have been a loss of one. Five yards on third down. Hurts is going to take off, and this time Levy makes the tackle short of the line to gain. A strong opening drive by the Rams defense. Can the offense match it? Starting from our own 33, Perry Kaysen gets the first carry of the game and goes nowhere. Blackshear makes his first appearance, and Wagner links up with David Jackson for a gain of nine. Third and short coming up. 
Billy stacks the box. Black Shear stuffed. Wait, no, he got enough. Another handoff. Black Shear finds a crease and gets up to midfield. To the ground for the third straight play and shoved ahead for a second first down. Is Antonio Blackshear. So glad to have him back, especially in our first playoff game in his career. Love to see it. Going to go right back to him. Out a whole lot. To the air on second down. Wagner, crossbody throw, and Deontay McCoon is up inside field goal range. Play fake on third. Wagner delivers a strike inside the 15. McCoon's got it for a first down. And we are in the red zone now. Five on the line for Philly. Black Shear gains three. In the gun. Four-man rush from Philly. Wagner intercepted in the end zone by McIntosh. And the drive ends in the red zone. Charleston McIntosh with the INT. He's trying to find Jackson back of the end zone. And it just gets cut off. That cannot happen again. That could become a costly, costly turnover. Hurts is going to keep it. He's got the first down. And Dustin Stewart is shaken up on this Philly offensive line. They hand it off on first and 10. Arnett with his first carry goes for six. Screen pass, Arnett has the first down across the Philly 45. Back to the air, outside. Gain of six for the tight end. Another keeper hurts, though does not know where to go when he goes backwards instead. To the 49-yard line, Quincy Baznights with another tackle here in this game. I won't count as a sack, though. Third and seven, just across midfield. Hurts under pressure. Finch just missed a diving sack. And Hurts runs for the first down. Four runs, 22 yards. We've got to do better on the edge here, man. That was a costly missed tackle. Instead, they are across the Rams' 40. And the pistol on first and 10. Hand off to Arnett, and he's got some room on the outside, and Presley saves a touchdown. Last play of the quarter, Hurts dumps it off, and Bowles has it up to the four. And the first quarter is over, and we're about to allow a touchdown, it seems. Start of the second quarter. They hand it off to Arnett. He is pushed forward for a first down. Three runs for 37 yards. You've already allowed about 60 in total from Philadelphia. Knocking on the door. First and goal. Hurts keeps it and he's tackled for a loss by Jonathan Dotson. Down below, Damon Craig's Broncos take down the Ravens to move to the AFC Championship game. That's not a catch. What? That is not a catch at all. And it's going to be a touchdown. I've got to challenge this. That, that, you can't call that a catch. No, no, no way. I, I, I can't challenge the play. That is not a touchdown. There is no way they call this a touchdown. There is no way possible. This is a drop. Where is the catch? There's no way that we just got hosed this early on. No way. 
I am at a complete and utter loss for words. I've never seen that before. How is that a touchdown? I just don't know. The Wagner pick leads to seven cheap, unearned points. I can't believe how we've started this game. Deontay McCoon across the 50 on the first play. Roger Goodell has things to answer for in this game. He has things to answer for. Back to throw on first and 10. Trainer up to the Philly 39. Another throw. It's dumped off. And why? Why do we do this? We just lost six yards. I am rattled right now. I am officially rattled. 39. Wagner is sacked. I can't believe this so far. Philadelphia gets it back. Leading by a touchdown. From their 26, Hertz is sacked for a loss this time. Brian Stewart, minus 10 yards. Rams showing blitz on second down. And they hand it off to Arnett for a big gain. The run defense has been horrible. Nine to go on third down. Hurts, plenty of time to throw, and it's broken up by Ruiz. He had it for a moment. Huge pass breakup right there on third and nine. Under six to play here in the first half. The offense has to score the football, man. But we can't do anything right now. Seven runs for nine yards. We hand it off on 2nd and 11, and we get 5 yards back. I will never get behind that play call. I'm not happy with the OC right now, not at all. Got to get to the 45-yard line for a first down, and that should have been picked by Hughes. Well, the offense right now is not really giving us a chance to win this game whatsoever. First and ten, Philly Arnett up the gut for nine and a half or ten. He is averaging over ten yards a carry. Our front seven has not shown up to play, just allowing yard after yard. Three yards on that carry brings up second and seven with three and a half to go. Hurts. On the move, dumps it, and they spin for a first down. Can we make a couple of good tackles here, please? That was the first scrap for Smith. And they're across their own 40-yard line. Quick throw for Hertz, offline. Down below, the 12-5 Buccaneers take down the Vikings in the divisional round, so they move on to the NFC Championship game. And on third and three. First down. Arnett through the air. And they're in field goal range now. Out of the warning. First and ten. Hand off. So much room to run. From the 32. Hurts somehow gets by Stewart for another first down. He just ran right past him. He could have gotten the sack or at least a tackle. Instead, Philly is about a score before halftime, and they're going to have a double-digit halftime unless this defense can make a big play here to close the half. Nine for 11 through the air is Jalen Hurts. Only 77 passing yards, but they are killing us right now on the ground. This is not what I expected whatsoever. First down, Philly. Four wide on first and ten. Hurts under pressure, and Bass Knight gets there again. His second first half sack. One timeout left for the Eagles. Hurts intercepted by Vance. A huge play to close the first half. They won't get any more points. We had to have a play like that. We just had to. 
And with six seconds on the clock, we're going to take this game to halftime. But they held us to zero points. Seven to zero, Philadelphia at the break here in SoFi Stadium. They've got 14 more offensive plays than we do. The offense cannot start the second half slow at all. Here we go in the second half. Philly outgaining us by about 50 yards or so right now. Both defenses, you know, doing their best, but the offense needs to clean up these mistakes and move down the fields. The offensive line right now is getting torn to shreds by this Philly front four, and it's not helping us at all. Second down and eights. Wagner, quick throw. Trainer turns up field for the first down. Empty look for Wagner. He's got good protection. Only one yard. That was McCollum's first touch of the game. Now it's Blackshear for a first down across the 45. Billy brings a four-man rush. Jackson leveled, but not before crossing into Philly territory. Play fake on second and shorts. Wagner finds Jackson wide open up inside the Philly 20-yard line. Red zone offense again for the Rams. Cannot turn the ball over again, especially not here. And off to Blackshear, but there is nothing opening up. We go backwards again. Neither side of this offensive line is giving us a chance. No gaps opening up, so how is the running back supposed to get any yardage? A penalty, and it's going to be encroachment on Philly. So make it second and six instead. Wagner delivers it, and it's broken up for Blackshear. Field goal is not going to help us here. Third and six. Picked off again. Two end zone picks from Charleston McIntosh. We haven't seen a multi-pick game from Wagner in so long. And he's thrown two in the end zone. Once again, trying to find David Jackson, and he cuts off the routes. I'm just in complete disbelief. Philly takes over again from their 20-yard line. And we stuff the run for the first time all day long. Levy brings pressure and gets right to Hurts on a straight shot. Loss of six. Two straight big plays by him. They have a long way to go on third down. We have now outgained Philadelphia. But we have turned the ball over twice. So we have zero points on the board. Hurts first down. How do you allow that? Why do we only bring three? The pressure has gotten to Hurts almost every drive. And we chose to back off and play zone defense. And we aren't good at that. I feel like we're just doing everything wrong right now. Nine more through the air. The Rams bring the house and we get to Hurts again. Our fifth sack of the game. Warren Terry, loss of seven. If we allow this, I'm going to be sick. Another three-man rush. Hurts, so much time to throw, and he airmails it. We're so lucky. What is it with backing off pressure on third down? That's the opposite of what you should be doing. They're going to punt from their 36 yard line. If we foul this guy, I'm, I'm going to lose it. It's a clean kick instead. I don't trust this offense any longer. I simply don't. Maybe our worst offensive game of the entire season. We got to go 75 yards to tie the game. But both times that we've got it inside the red zone, we have turned the ball over. Second down, quick throw. Trainers got it for a first down. 
Black Shear the carry, and he just has no chance to go anywhere. As soon as he gets the ball in his hands, there are two defenders ready for him within one yard of him. Under two to play in this third quarter. We might just have to be throwing the ball the rest of the way, but that has cost us dearly already. Third and one coming up. We're going to hand it off, and Blackshear sheds a tackle. His best run of the day, and it keeps the drive going. Grips towards the bottom. Wagner lofts it, and it's broken up and could have been picked again. From the 42, Wagner, you got to get rid of the ball. We just lost 13 yards. Third and 23, we go to a screen. I mean, Greg Teal did not even try to block that guy. Are, are, are you kidding me? The third quarter's over. We're, we're about to get shut out. To open the fourth quarter, Philly has the ball again, leading 7-0. What more can you ask of this defense? Incomplete on the screen. At this stage, our defense might have to be the one to put up points on the board. Hurts underneath. And they got third and five. And the pistol on third. Down, caught on the slant. We were, we're, just, we're not ready for that. And off, Barnett swallowed up this time by Warren Terry. And the gun on second down. Hurts left side. He's got Pirine wide open for a first down. They're approaching midfield. They're not going to get there here. Second and nine. Hurts is going to keep it. And... This is just insane. Seven runs for just under 40 yards. They have, I believe, less than 100 passing yards. And has that really mattered that much? Arnett's stuffed again. Can we force Hurts to go backwards, though? That's the, the key to stopping this drive. If they get in field goal range, which they're a couple yards away from, I don't think the offense is, is uh, scoring 10 points to end this game. I just don't think so. So, got to hold these guys to nothing. That's a big sack. Quincy Bazlight has three. Loss of 11, just what the doctor ordered. That is our sixth sack of the game. We're showing pressure on third and 21. We bring a four-man rush, and they convert it! Are you kidding? Oh my god. This game's over. This game is over. Why do we consistently call zone defense on third and long? It has failed us at least three times in this game you cannot allow that big of a play if they score here we're gonna lose they've already drained over half the quarter off the clock Jalen Hurts now in the zone fantastic first and goal to Pirine his seventh catch of the game and Philly is about to take Seven, eight minutes off the clock in this fourth quarter. And we're going to have no chance to get back in this game. And now our number two corner is shaken up. It is just downhill the entire game. And off to our nets. Down at the one, third and goal. Are you kidding me, Warren Terry? Oh, it's a false start. I thought that was offsides. Back him up. They might just throw it here now. Six yards out. And third down. Hurts for the end zone. Touchdown, 
Philadelphia. A seven minutes, 18 yard possession, 15 plays, and Philly doubles their lead. I frankly cannot believe what I'm seeing here. This is by far our worst overall performance of the season. It's not even close. Not a single game all year long has even scratched the surface of how horrible this performance is in our first playoff game of the season as the one seed. This is straight up embarrassing. Under three to play, all three timeouts for both teams. Wagner should have been picked again. He has thrown it. Two picks and two other ones should have been picked off. Four turnover worthy plays in this game by a quarterback that has played great almost the entire season. On the move and out of reach. This is one of the most heartbreaking games I've ever watched. Black down on the play. They're going to call pass interference. We just handed it off on first and 10. Do we not see how much time is left? You can't afford to hand the ball off. Throw it to the end zone. Good Lord. First down, David Jackson. Our third Renzo trip. I, I'm just ready for the pick this time. I'm ready for the INT. We dump it off to Blackshear. Up to the 11. And that will get us to the warning. We have not seen anything from McCollum, who usually has good games. And we are sacked again. Madigan has two. And we just lost about 10 yards. Third and 12. Wagner sacked again. We go, no huddle. Got to go 24 yards for a first down. Wagner launches. It's caught. Traders got it for the touchdown. We're not going to get shutouts. But now our defense cannot allow a single first down. This game's pretty much already over, man. I've already, I've already accepted that. Where was this all game long? Onside kick. Oh my god, it was muffed and we still couldn't get to it. Are you serious? We have to get three straight stops. Arnett just runs for the first down and breaks a tackle. The game's over. The game is over. There's so many blue shirts. Right there with them, and nobody is able to tackle our nets. And this offensive line that looks pretty shabby on paper, I guess is one of the best in football still, like 10 years later. Just insane. Another first down for our nets, and that's going to do it. The Rams are out of timeouts. Two kneels will end this game, and Philadelphia is moving on to the NFC Championship as the sixth seed. Nothing short of a complete collapse by the offense. The defense, I thought, you know, didn't play great, but they gave us a chance to win this game. They only allowed 14 points. But the offense and our quarterback, Jesse Wagner, gave us no chance to win this game. That is a completely soul-crushing game. One of the worst I've ever watched on this channel. There's not really much more that I can really say right now. There's not much more I can really say. They, they outplayed us. They outplayed us. The defensive line did not show up against the ground game. We sacked Jalen Hurts six different times, but even then they converted several big third downs through the air um, because he played his own defense. Receivers like David Jackson and... 
McCollum did not show up at all in this game. So I just, um, I don't know, man. I don't know. I, th I think we're in store for maybe some big changes to the offense here because this is frankly not going to cut it. Like we came in with the number one offense in football and we put up seven points, but pretty much only in garbage time. I'm just in shock. Greg Teal says, we just didn't get it done. Yeah, dude, I know. I saw you completely let Blackshear get tackled because you just missed the blocker. Like, I saw that. Down but not out. No, we, we are literally out. We are out. Our year is over. You just lost in the playoffs. You're done. We aren't just down. We are also out. How in God's name was our game day goal at 200 offensive yards? That should be the baseline for every game, not just your game day goal in the playoffs. Miles Pratt's been fired. I'm sorry. We're going to hire offensive coordinator Brent Perkins to replace Miles Pratt. Their first real big offseason move. Philadelphia ends up getting demolished in the NFC Championship game by Tampa, losing 35-14. But Damon Craig's Broncos are in the Super Bowl. He is looking for ring number two with a second team. I want to see what he can do here in this game. Hopefully, he wins that one. That would be a cool storyline for him. Jesse Wagner makes the Pro Bowl this season. So does our fullback, Jerry Barnett. Trevor Offord makes it for his new team. We have the best tight end in the NFC with BJ Trainer, but he's going to become a free agent. On the offensive line, we had nobody, which makes no sense because we only allowed like less than 20 sacks all year long. How does that make any sense at all? I don't know. On the defensive line, we don't have anybody except for Raheem Finch and Quincy Bazdine who both make it, but Ruiz and Levy both miss out on the Pro Bowl. None of our corners make it. George Vance makes it as the top strong safety, and Glenn Douglas also makes the Pro Bowl as well. Yearly awards, Josh Allen wins MVP, and Dan Hampton of the Cowboys wins Coach of the Year. How is Sirianni up there with a 10-7 record? That just makes no sense because this is not a playoff award. DeMar Chase, Offensive Player of the Year in the AFC. Depoy goes to Raekwon Rich of the Steelers. Cardell Belser of the Jags wins Offense Rookie of the Year, while Montreal Raymond wins it for the Jets. Best quarterback, Mahomes. Whitmore, the best running back. Jamar Chase, best receiver. Best offensive lineman, Denzel Barton. Raekwon Witch, best defensive lineman. Best linebacker, Ted Myers. Best defensive back, McDuffie. And Doug Bennett wins the Best Kicker Award. And the NFC... It goes to Glenn Douglas, as it should. Opoy goes to Jalen Hurts. Jesus Christ. Epoy goes to Will Anderson Jr. Deontay McCoon is going to be an X-Factor next season as he wins Offensive Rookie of the Year as a superstar rookie wideout. That's going to be big for him. Defensive Rookie goes to James Whitaker of the Eagles. Best quarterback, Jalen Hurts. He threw 24 touchdowns. How? Best running back, Bajan Robinson. How did Perry Kaysen even get fourth place? I guess because of his touchdowns. Best receiver, Justin Jefferson. Jeff Roth for now with the Cowboys in fourth. Best offensive lineman goes to Zach McCoy, our center. Best defensive lineman, Will Anderson. Mason Rose, the best linebacker. George Vance, best defensive back. He's already X-Factor. And we saw best kicker. We'll go power for Glenn Douglas, who has the upgrade point after he won a yearly award. And how about Deontay McCoon? Why is he only superstar? He should be an X-Factor when, when he wins Rookie of the Year. I'm going to make him an X-Factor because that's what he should be. So, for him, we'll use it for physical. And I'll make that change right now. He is now an X-Factor receiver. You're welcome. 
And would you look at that? Damon Craig, our former quarterback, and his new team, the Denver Broncos, have won their fourth Super Bowl title. That is his second ring in his career. Good for him. At 31 years old, Richards has finally seen some regression, but now we can use those upgrade points that he's been saving up. We'll go back to man-to-man. -man. Now we gotta wait to use this next one whenever he has any more regression, but back to plus two man coverage, and we can't use any more. We have no retirements here in 2033, which is good for our future. The uh, Vikings lost both Jedrick Wills, who played for us for a while, and Justin Jefferson. After 14 years, he has finally retired as one of the greatest receivers of all time. Devon Weatherspoon follows suits. Asante Samuel, Derisaw, Linderbaum, Justin Field is done. Sauce Gardner, J.C. Horn, T. Higgins. A lot of well-known players have retired, including Kenneth Walker, finally. So here we are, entering the offseason once again. That's got to be our worst playoff loss of all time. I'm not sure where this team goes from here, but we do have two X-Factors alongside Wagner on this offense. You might want to improve, though, at tackle because I really do feel like if we can make a big change there, that could turn things around for this team. But... I mean, the offense was just so inconsistent after the win streak and before it. They were so inconsistent. Every other game was a completely different showing that, than the previous one. And it was hard to pinpoint what the offense was good at because in this past game, we ran the ball horribly. But prior to that, we ran the ball very well with Blackshear in the backfield. This was not the case against Philadelphia. And on this defense, might want to start to revamp the, the uh, interior of this defensive line because they did not show up in this game against the run. That was a big reason why we lost this game. If we got just a few more stops on those runs, then we probably force at least two more punts, but also had those big third down conversions after some sacks, which I don't know how we allowed those. That was embarrassing. We have so many good players on either side of the ball, but we just couldn't put things together this season. I'm not sure what it will take to get this team over the hump because we won the title last year. This year, we bowed out in like the worst way possible. So who knows where things go from here, but Warren Terry is probably going to become a free agent and we'll see what else lies in store for us in the off season as we approach year 12. That'll do it here, folks. Thanks for watching. Please like the video. Subscribe to my channel if you enjoy the series and the content. And I'll see you guys in the off-season next time around. Please leave your feedback down below on what you want to see and your thoughts on the season and the episode. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.